Welcome to the Miss Max. It's maximum minimum 12 standard exercise 6.3. Problem number 14. I have chosen problem number 14. Find two positive numbers x and y such that x plus y is 60 and x y cube is maximum. Okay. Find two positive numbers such that x plus y is 60 and x y cube is maximum. Let p be equal to x y cube. Anything you take, whatever you like. Now I want maximum of p. p. x. x plus y is 60. So y is 60 minus x. For q. Now we go for dp by dx. First function into derivative of the second function. Derivative of 60 minus x is minus 1 plus product rule I am using now. 60 minus x whole cube into derivative of x which will be 1. So p is x into 60 minus x whole cube first function derivative of second function plus second function derivative of first function will be 1. So this will be now. Take out 60 minus x whole square outside. This will be 60 minus x. There is a minus here and it will be minus 3x. So dp by dx. 60 minus x whole square into 60 minus 4x. Okay. Now for a maximum or a minimum. First derivative is 0. So dp by dx is 0. Implies. 60 minus x whole square into 60 minus 4x is equal to 0. Definitely x can't be 60. Then uh, y will become 0 in that case. So 60 minus 4x is 0. X is 15. Now let that be there. Problem is not complete. Problem is not complete. Uh, I have to go for the second derivative. So I get x is 15. So now we go for d2p by dx2. Differentiate this first function into derivative of the second function minus 4 plus second function into derivative of the first function. Derivative of 60 minus x will be minus 1. I hope you understand me. So 60 minus x Oh, it's a few more minutes probably we'll go over there. dp by dx. I have differentiated this. First function, derivative of second function, minus 4. Second function, derivative of first function, 60 minus x, whole square derivative is 2 into 60 minus x. Derivative of 60 minus x will be minus 1. So now we have, now x is equal to, 15. When x is 15, this will become 0 and uh, this will become negative. Whole square in front you have a minus 4. So this will become negative. So second derivative is negative. That means we always get the maximum. Now x is 15. So what will be y? x plus y is 60. So what is y? 45. So what are the two numbers dear viewers? 15 and 45. So this is uh, problem number 
14 in exercise 6.3. I have just chosen this for today's video. You practice this. So I will meet you in the next video with more questions.